Today we will be wrapping this 18-foot recreational boat. The techniques and principles used here can be applied and used on almost any recreational boat of this type and or length. We will begin by installing the center supports and strapping, which will be holding up the shrink wrap, shedding snow and ice during the storage season. Strapping will run from the bow to the stern, creating a nice slope that will maintain the integrity of the shrink wrap. We begin by securing the strapping to the bow and stern. The straps can be secured to grab rails and or cleats. Strapping will be thread through the top caps of your support posts. Each support post will have a bottom and top cap to ensure the strapping stability during the wrapping process. This particular wrap project requires two support posts, one at the center, just behind the windshield, and one towards the stern. The center upright should be about 10 inches higher than the top of the windshield or the highest point on your boat. Tighten the bow and stern straps using a buckle. Once your bow and stern strap is complete, secure the strapping to the side rails or cleats from the top caps to create the substructure for your shrink wrap project. Once your strapping is all complete, be sure to tape your buckles. This will prevent any burning throughout the shrink wrap process. Simply cut a piece of tape and wrap your buckle. We now move to the perimeter band. To install this, we will secure straps with an open loop on the end to the cleats and grab rails. This strapping will hang 8 inches below the rub rail of the boat. The perimeter band is one continuous strap that runs from the stern to the bow and back to the stern through the loops on your straps. It is critical that this band is tightly secured to protect your boat during the storage season. Once the perimeter band is looped through and around your entire boat, join the two ends at the stern with a buckle. Use a strap tensioning tool to ensure a tight strap around the entire perimeter of the boat. Now that your straps and upright supports are secure, creating a quality support structure for your shrink wrap, we begin to wrap the boat. First, we must measure to determine the appropriate width of the shrink wrap material. Measure from the highest portion of the boat, which should be the top of your center support, over the widest area of the boat to the rub rail. From the rub rail, you will measure about eight inches to your perimeter band, which should already be installed. Add six additional inches, which will be tucked underneath the perimeter band, creating the weld around the entire perimeter of the boat. To obtain the full width measurement, double this figure. This will determine the full width of your shrink wrap material needed to successfully wrap your boat. Once you have determined your material width, start at the stern of the boat and pull the wrap material over the boat to the bow. Be sure to leave an additional 6 inches of material to create your weld. When pulling the material over, it is important to do so from a film rack, as the material can collect static, and running it along the ground will collect dirt, which may cause abrasion to your wrapped object once complete. Once the boat is draped, use a film knife to trim any excess in addition to the 6 inches below your perimeter band, which will be used for your weld. Begin to tuck the material around the entire perimeter of your boat. Once the perimeter material is tucked under the perimeter band, you will begin the shrinking process. First, you will weld the material to the perimeter band. Do so by using the heat tool and long cuff safety glove. Heat up the material and pat it down against the boat. This will join the front and tucked material together, creating a solid weld. Do this around the entire perimeter of the boat. Use caution during this process as the material can be worn. Once you have welded the entire perimeter, with the exception of the rear unit, which we will demonstrate shortly, you must add a belly band to secure the perimeter band in place as your material shrinks. To do this, cut a small slit above the perimeter band and attach a piece of your strapping to the trailer or wrap it under the belly of your boat. You should do this every six feet. You do not need to over tighten the band, just maintain the perimeter band's position on the boat approximately eight inches below the rub rail. 
Now that your belly bands are secure, we will weld around the rear unit. First cut off any excess material that isn't needed with your film cutting knife. Once the material is cut to your desired length, tuck the material under the perimeter band and heat up the perimeter and begin padding down the material to create your weld, just as you did around the sides of the boat. This process can be a little tricky and you may need to heat the underside as well to create a solid weld. Go slow and take your time with this step to ensure that no holes are burnt in the material. Your perimeter and rear unit are now welded. Near the widest portion of the boat, near the windshield, you will notice a natural pleat. This pleat should run towards the stern to avoid separation during transportation. Pleats are welded and padded similar to the welds around the perimeter band. Once all pleats are welded, we will begin shrinking the main cover. Think of shrinking it in sections. This will not only offer an evenly shrunk cover, but will also allow you to keep track of what has been shrunk to avoid overshrinking and burning holes. Move side to side at an even speed, allowing for the material to heat up and shrink appropriately. Once you have gone around the entire four lower quadrants of the boat, you will begin to shrink the upper wrap. You can do this from a ladder or by using an extension on your heat tool. Now that the cover is shrunk and has ample time to cool, tape your vertical pleats to avoid separation. At this time, you can also tape any small holes that may have burned into the wrap during the shrinking process. The final step is installing the vents to ensure proper ventilation during the storage season. Not properly venting will build up moisture which can lead to damaging mold and mildew issues inside your boat. To install the vent, remove the adhesive backing and apply to the high point on your boat. Using a utility knife, cut the wrap open and firmly secure the vent. Install the cap and you're finished. For more information on shrink wrapping and additional how-to training videos, you may visit the official Dr. Shrink YouTube channel or visit them online at dr-shrink.com. That's dr-shrink.com. You may also contact our world-class customer service department and they will be more than happy to assist you in any way they can.